the Banking Act, the prudential guidelines issued here <coughs> under, and the banks establish internal lending policies and procedures. The board reacted swiftly by appointing a team of internationally renowned forensic investigators from London, FTI Consulting, LLP, to probe and report on the situation. Their preliminary investigations and the resulting report were completed in less than a week. And with the goal of protecting all the stakeholders, the Board of Directors of the Bank fulfilled its statutory and moral duty and reported the findings of the Forensic Audit to CBK. It is worth noting that the FTI Consulting Report included a high-level recovery plan and that the bank at the time of reporting had a healthy liquidity circa Kenya shillings 20 billion. It was further revealed to the board and shareholders that the fraudulent and irregular disbursements had been concealed through improper accounting methods of suppressing assets and liabilities. And what we now know to be reports that had been adopted by certain senior bank employees, including falsified doc board documents and borrower lists. We have further established that CBK and the bank's external auditors, PKF Kenya, may have failed in their audit duties. The investigations revealed that the external auditors appear to have failed in their duty to conduct the audit according to laid down standards and to have failed to perform basic tests while it appears that CBK not only failed in its supervision duties but also failed to respond to tip-offs given directly to them with due care and seriousness that is required. Our strong belief that the bank was being operated within the strict confines of the law was over the years reinforced by a number of factors. 